Hi everyone, my name is Allison Blanchard and I'm going to be your facilitator for today's session about building algebraic fluency through tape diagrams in grades 6 through 9. I'm really excited to be here with you all today. I've used this curriculum Eureka Math in my own classroom for a few years now, so I'm really excited to share with you a little bit about what I've learned. We have two goals for today's session. The first goal is that participants will be able to understand the use of tape diagrams to aid students in algebraic fluency and the modeling of word problems. Our second goal for today is that participants will be able to guide a struggling student through the modeling stages of a word problem to bridge their ability to represent the problem algebraically. Before we get started, when I say go, I want you to take one minute, get up, find someone you don't know from a different table, and discuss this question. What strategies have you used to bolster students' proficiency with the algebra necessary for success at your grade level? One minute, ready, set, go. Get up, move around. After one minute, let's bring it back together. I heard some great conversation. Let's find our seats and get started. You have a handout in front of you today. This is for you to take notes specifically related to the standards for mathematical practice. Now today, we're going to begin by, I'm going to model a sequence of coherent problems related to modeling expressions and equations across grade levels. For this sequence of problems, I'm going to teach as if I were in my own classroom. I would love you to participate as middle schoolers, but also take note of any teacher strategies I use so we can discuss them later. Let's get started with a sixth grade problem. Let's read it together. Hannah is putting in a tile floor. She needs to determine the angles that should be cut in the tiles to fit in the corner. The angle in the corner measures 90 degrees. One piece of tile will have a measure of 38 degrees. What is the measure of the unknown angle? All right, so what is happening in this problem? Well, Hannah's putting in a tile floor. She needs to determine the missing piece. Now we're gonna read it again, focusing on any important quantities that were in the problem. Let's read it all together as one. Hannah is putting in a tile floor. She needs to determine the angles that should be used, should be cut in the tiles to fit in the corner. The angle in the corner measures 90 degrees. One piece of the tile will have a measure of 38 degrees. What is the measure of the unknown angle? So some important quantities in this problem. Hannah's corner is a 90 degree angle. We know that one of the two pieces is 38 degrees. We need to find the other missing piece. So since our goal for today is to represent problems using tape diagrams, I'm going to model how I would solve this problem using a tape diagram. The first thing I would do is start with our total. We know our corner has to make a total of 90 degrees. So I'm going to draw a piece of my tape diagram that equals 90 degrees. That's my whole, my total. Now, I know that two pieces have to make this 90 degrees. So I'm going to draw another piece of tape, the same size, but it's going to be split into two pieces. That tells me that these two pieces have to equal this 90 degrees. I drew them the same size to represent that. Now, one piece I know is 38 degrees and I need to find the missing piece. What do we use for an unknown value in algebra? A variable. We could use our favorite variable, x. So we know that x degrees and 38 degrees have to create a total of 90 degrees. So I have to find this missing piece here. So what can I do? I can subtract my total of 90 degrees minus my 38 degrees to find that missing piece. 90 minus 38 
that gives me 52 degrees. So x, my missing piece, is 52 degrees. What questions do we have? Awesome. Now let's relate this to writing an equation that we can solve using algebra. So again, I know my missing piece and 38 degrees have to make a total of 90 degrees. So as an equation, I would write that as x degrees plus 38 degrees equals 90 degrees. Now, in order to find x, I have to isolate the variable. I have to get rid of this plus 38 degrees. So I have to use the inverse of adding 38. How do we undo an adding 38? We subtract 38. So I can subtract 38 on this side of my equation and subtract 38 on this side of my equation in order to keep both sides equal or equivalent. We know that plus 38 minus 38, they undo each other so that we eliminate each other. And we know that x, again, is equal to 90 minus 38, which again is 52 degrees. So again, our missing piece is 52 degrees. What questions do we have? Awesome, let's try another sixth grade problem together. Again, we're gonna start by reading it all together. Thomas is putting in a tile floor. He needs to determine the angle that should be cut in the tiles to fit in the corner. The angle of the corner measures 90 degrees. One piece of tile will have a measure of 24 degrees. What is the measure of the unknown angle? So can somebody with a silent hand tell me what's happening in this problem? Yes, Thomas is putting in a tile floor. He also needs to create a 90 degree angle from his pieces of tile. Let's read it again and pick out any other important quantities that we see. Thomas is putting in a tile floor. He needs to determine the angle that should be cut in the tiles to fit in the corner. The angle of the corner measures 90 degrees. One piece of the tile will have a measure of 24 degrees. What is the measure of the unknown angle? Okay, so what are the important quantities in this problem? We know that his angle is also 90 degrees. And we know he has two pieces, one of which is 24 degrees. And we need to find the unknown piece. So again, I'm going to show you how we can solve this problem using a tape diagram. My total, again, is 90 degrees. So I start with that one box that represents 90 degrees in total. Now, I'm going to draw my two pieces that have to create 90 degrees, making sure that they are the same size as 90 degrees to show that they have to make the same total. So again, I know this piece is 24 degrees, and I know that the two pieces together have to equal 90 degrees. I can again use a variable to represent the unknown quantity x. So I label x degrees here. Now, what can I do to find the missing piece to give myself a total of 90 degrees if I know one piece is 24 degrees. How do I find that other missing piece? Yes, we subtract our total of 90 degrees minus 24 degrees. When I subtract, I get that my missing piece, x, is equal to 66 degrees. Now, let's relate this to algebra again and write this as an algebraic equation that we can solve. So again, I have two sides of my equation. One side is going to be the missing piece, x plus 24, has to be equivalent to the total angle of 90 degrees.
So again, I need to isolate my variable. How can I isolate this variable? How can I undo that plus 24? Yes, I can subtract 24. And when I subtract 24 on one side of the, my equation, I have to make sure I subtract on the other side of my equation to keep both sides equal. So I know plus 24, minus 24, they undo each other, so they are eliminate one another. And x, again, is equal to 90 minus 24. So again, I subtract, and I get x is equal to 66 degrees, which is my missing angle. What questions do you have? Awesome. Thank you so much.